Miles, you've been flying the route now for nearly three years between Oliver Tambo and Margate. Indeed. Now you, you could get competition, so how do you feel about that? It appears so, and um, we're a little surprised to hear that there was interest from SAA Link. I think it's uh, common knowledge that uh, a few years ago um, the municipality approached both Air Link and SA Express and they uh, categorically declined um, to even entertain the idea of flying to Margate. Um, but it seems now that uh, we are making a go of it that uh, they, they seem to have a change of heart. Okay, but now, you know, I must play devil's advocate. Now, what would be the reason? I mean, can, can, it, be, can it be safely assumed that it's a business decision from their side to, uh, let's say, to harm uh, Seme and then to eventually gain from, from, you know, from your guys uh, withdrawing from the route? We, we may speculate, so, you know, we aren't here to... to, to um, we don't know on what basis they, that they're making the, um, the attempt. Um, but the reality is that Margate is still a very thin route and there isn't space for two operators um, on a route with, with this number of passengers being flown daily. So we are um, a little surprised that they would uh, show interest at this point. Um, however, from our side, you know, the way to, to win is not by attacking the competition, it's by doing a great job. Um, we built some fantastic relationships in the community, uh, often thanks to your help, um, and we believe we will have a, a lot of support and we will fly um, on time, every time, create a schedule that, that supports the needs of the community. We will build on those relationships and that's how we believe will prevail um, in the event that there is, a, that there is an, uh, some opposition. Okay, but now, I mean, you know, we don't want to know any trade secrets, but I mean, if they should get permission to fly, what, what will your first step be? What will you do? Well, we hope we are providing a service that um, the community finds valuable. Um, it shouldn't make any difference to us uh, if there is a competitor or there isn't. We should still do the very best job we can, and we believe we've been doing that up to now. We'll continue to grow the route. Um, it has been our intention for some time to launch um, a, a route from Margate uh, via the Garden Route to Cape Town. That will come online in the next couple of months. Um, and we'll be focused on, on our work, not on, on somebody else's um, attack on our work. And I believe that's, how, um, that's what the community would expect from us. Have you had any feedback from the municipality yet, you know, on, on, on you know, the road ahead? And we've had a lot of feedback from the community in general, and it's been overwhelmingly positive. I think people appreciate the work we've done here, the risk we took, um, and the service we provided. And uh, we are hoping that uh, that will translate into customer loyalty. And, again, the relationships we've built, I believe, will, will, will help us get through this. You're in the airline business. I mean, something like this, is that normal? Is that is that normal practice, you know, for, 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 for airlines to come in and trying to, to push the other one out? Uh, the South African airline industry has obviously seen um, some interesting dynamics over the last 20 years. You uh, Pretty much any newspaper you would open would have a story um, from some of the state-run carriers. And obviously, uh, Airlink is, a, is, is a really a franchisee of, of, of SAA. So um, this isn't an industry that's normally governed by straight commercial logic. There's a lot of politics. And therefore, the decisions aren't always made um, on a purely logical basis. Okay, but finally, you're convinced there's no room for two airlines on that route? Absolutely not. The, the, the numbers we're flying on this route, um, it, it's taken us three years to build it to the point where there's room for one. So to, to split that between two operators is just not realistic at this point. And in fact, um, the CEO of, of Airlink, Roger Foster, stated a couple of years ago in an article um, that uh, competing um, against another airline on a, on a thin regional route would ultimately uh, result in failure. So um, I don't believe they see this as a route where they intend to compete against us. I believe they see this as a route where they expect to dominate, and, uh, and that's where we're on the basis on which we're going to challenge it. But if that should happen, will it be a lowering of, of, of fares from the other side and then sort of uh, undercutting same air and then whatever happens after that? Um, there has been a concern that's been voiced in the press that um, there may be an undercutting of our fares um, and if uh, we withdrew from the market that those fares would then be increased. I think it's uh, reasonable to say that the fares we've charged on this, this, this route um, are reasonable for a regional carrier. We are, are certainly not... Um, uh, expensive for the, the, the type of service it is if you look um, regionally and in fact if you look at our competitors what they charge on a similar sector um, we are in fact a lot cheaper so um, there isn't a lot of room uh, for, for uh, lowering of prices um, and remaining profitable um, so lowering prices would be a, a tactic for, for uh, exclusion of, of the other operator would be my view. Okay, and finally, finally uh, your message to the community of the South Coast? Our message is that we're here to stay. We, when we started this route, we said we knew it was going to be a hard slog and that we were committed to it. 
and we're committed to the community. This isn't a business decision. Um, it's been difficult and it's been a long slog and we remain committed and uh, we will continue to provide the very best service we can and do everything we can to, to help this um, beautiful part of the world uh, be the best it can be. That's what Margate needs. It needs um, a partner, not a, not a business decision at this point. Thank you very much and uh, best of luck and uh, you know, it's no, no, no guess on which side we're on. So. Thank you. And you, your support has always been fantastic. I always do try and mention how much it's appreciated. And uh, once again, uh, thank you.